Okay, so some of you may be wondering how these frames perform with sunlight because the cameras themselves in touch setups have difficulty tracking when you have lots of ambient light, sunlight, infrared light. Well, the infrared touch frames actually do much, much better. So here we are in the room and the windows are mostly uh, closed, the blinds are shut. Uh, so it's fully calibrated right now, as you can see. So it's really, really good. So what I'm going to do is open the window. So I have tons and tons of sunlight coming in the room right now. You can see my shadow just from the window being open. And here we are again doing the same tracking. So all the same. So even if you have varying light conditions, sunlight coming in and out, the frame should work fine. Uh, I have heard that some of the very, very large frames may have a diminishing tracking once it gets towards the center more of the screen, but it should be still pretty good and usable. Um, if there's direct sunlight on the larger screens, probably isn't recommended. And now let's try and see what the screen looks like outside. Okay, so here we are in direct sunlight. The LCD image is obviously washed out as most LCDs and projected images pretty much would be in direct sunlight. So this is just a test. Obviously, it's not really a real world application as it probably isn't something that most people would ever do. Uh, as you can see, just sitting here, it's already created a couple touch points. So I'm just gonna drag my fingers across so you can get an idea of pretty much how terrible it works. Um, in direct sunlight. The infrared light from the sun obviously washes out the touching, uh, the touch um, sensing uh, infrared sensors around the edge. So let me just show you here. I know it's really hard to see, but it seems to be working semi okay. In the center, it works better, but just dragging even a single finger around. You can see it kind of, kind of works, but this is a six-point touch frame. I will say that the response time is faster, and that's probably because my fingers are heavily lit up by infrared light due to the direct sunlight, so the camera sensors are, or the, the um, infrared sensors are much easier to detect the points. But let me just show you what five fingers dragged across the screen looks like because it's actually pretty bad. There we go. Yep, there it goes. So I know it's really hard to see. I apologize, obviously direct sunlight's hard. But yeah, so wonderful. So two fingers dragging across and basically too much, too much infrared light to have the sensors figure out where exactly you're touching. You can see that we're still outside, uh, we're just in the shade, so direct sunlight's really only a few feet away, but we're on an overhang, and so we're getting shade. There's no direct sunlight hitting the screen, but there's plenty of plenty of infrared light bouncing around and lighting up the area out here. Um, but I just want to show you how much different the tracking is compared to having it in direct sunlight. So, here we go. And as you can see, it is perfect. You probably wouldn't want to use really large frames uh, because of the infrared light from the LEDs not being able to reach your fingers when it's having to compete with you know ambient sunlight or whatnot so if you're trying to make really really large images probably best to have it in a controlled lighting situation not with varying sunlight on it and also any of these screens that are going to have varying lighting conditions you may see that you have to calibrate them if you're having a huge contrast between certain lighting situations you know Obviously between fully off and fully on ambient light could be a problem, but if you're just having moderate changes, the frames work just fine. So we've compared ambient sunlight, direct sunlight, inside we also looked at light coming in through a window. These frames will work anywhere that you're not getting any direct high intensity infrared light like the sunlight or perhaps a very, very bright uh, incandescent bulb. but Really good news 
you can use it outside where there's lots of infrared light bouncing around, something you could not do with the infrared cameras and it's all due to the setup of the infrared light and the infrared sensors on the frames versus the cameras and such on the normal optical tracking setup. If you need to build a setup outside that needs to be able to track fingers and whatnot with either a camera setup or an infrared touch frame, you're much better off going with an infrared touch frame just because you can have all this ambient infrared light but you know you can't have a direct sunlight but you can still use it in all the normal situations you would probably be using an LCD or a projector image I mean you wouldn't want to have an LCD in direct sunlight anyways it would totally wash out the image so there's no point in using it this is the perfect thing to use an infrared touch frame as you can see you know again we're in the shade and lots of good tracking